Hello once again, uh, this is Philip Mahoney and I'm going to uh, carry on with uh, a couple of uh, lessons for beginners. Now, uh, in the first video I did, I talked about the chords that you could learn, uh, all pretty much at the nut of the guitar. So, just going through the chords that we looked at the last time. Uh, the chords right I'll go through each one so you have A A minor then you had E minor E major and you had the D and D minor and then I was saying then go on to C C major and then go on to G now all these chords if you're comfortable changing between these chords, I think it's probably better to get all these chords down first and be comfortable to change between each chord. Pick the chords at random. Just write them out in any kind of random pattern, like A minor, G, D, C, whatever. Just write them all down in various kind of like permutations, different ways, of, you know. Just randomly <clears throat> and get used to, um, <clears throat> as I said to you in the last video, get used to playing. Now I'm just looking for me, this lad, metronome. Get used to, um, first of all, play, you know, each one with a. I have it set to 60 beats per minute here. So get used to maybe doing it every four at first. So say for example I just pick G D C A minor. Okay? So I'll do each chord on every fourth beat. So it'll be G G four D three four C three four and A minor. So again Just get used to that. Changing every four, so you can get used to changing between your chords. They, I just picked out of the chords we talked about so far in the first lot. I just picked four of them. Altogether, you had A, A minor, E, E minor, D, D minor, G, and C. So that's eight chords to play with, and get used to them. I'll pick four different chords this time. I pick maybe uh, E major, two, three, four, D minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, and then A major, two, three, four, and do that the same kind of way. Um, as you as you can tell, I'm just picking them chords randomly out of the eight chords that you know from the first video. I'm just picking four of them chords, just any four. It doesn't really matter, but always mix them up so you get used to changing between any two chords. And I always think that chord is going to be coming next. So get ready to kind of think of that movement you're going to make with your fingers before you go to that chord on the beat. And what I was saying then is, then, rather than doing it every four, do it every two. So if I was to pick uh, E minor, G, D, and A major, okay? I'm going to do this every two now. So, so it'd be one. Now the important thing to uh, tell you as well, when you're starting off playing all these chords, not every chord you pluck all the strings or you, you strum all the strings. Now this is the case with 
the A's and the C. You would play the A from the second string down, you would pluck down. So that your your A is actually your root note of the chord. That also applies to A minor and it also applies to C. Now the other thing is the D's that you learned in the last videos. When you're playing the D's, again you could play an A with the D, but it's better to actually hear the lowest note being D when you're playing a chord of D, whether it be major or minor. So Again, you would strum from the third string down, which is your D string, and you just strum the bottom four strings, and the same with minor. All others you can play the whole six strings, like your E's, your G, whatever. And you should have after a while get to use every two like i was saying now i was doing every two there i was doing what was i doing a minor g d and a major or it get used to maybe d a major whatever it doesn't really matter i'm just using the chords i'm just picking a couple of chords out uh, randomly just to show you an example of this and get used to your timing as well the metronome really helps so the last thing I was showing you was every two so it'll be two and then when you get used to this it's important to even get used to quicker changes so you do it every one beat That's kind of what you just keep doing that a few times with the metronome. That kind of thing. When you're comfortable doing that, now, as I said, that was just an example of four chords, any four chords. But get to write out random patterns of all the chords that you know. That are open chords and get and mix them up in different order all the time so you can get used to the changes might be a d to a g or a d to a, an e minor or it could be an e minor to a d minor kind of unusual change but anyway when you're happy enough with this you can move on to your bar chords now Ones I didn't cover in the first video were your B's, your B chords. Now, the other chord then that I didn't co cover, which is also a bar chord, is F. But if by some chance you have a difficulty with the actual barring, and I'll show you that now in a sec, there are ways you can kind of uh, play B or F without having to do a full bar. Now one way is, I'll show you the F first. Now the F chord is very much in the same shape as the E chord, which is this, uh, that's, your, that's your E major. Now instead of picking two, three and one, Instead, just substitute them fingers. Leave your first finger free, this free, and put the three down on the second fret. Put the little finger in on the next string down on the D, and then use your middle finger for the G sharp. So you're playing the same chord, E major, but you're leaving this free okay this first finger free and the reason for that is if you're going from E to F you're going from there to up to here now 
now that's one way of playing F without having to bar the whole lot now barring just means clamping down on the whole fret really that would be your full bar to F but if you just take them notes what's in F F A and C now you could easily do, just do that by just putting the tree there on that F the you could put the two the middle finger on that A and then your number one finger your index will take care of the C so you've got F A C which makes up the chord of F and then with that last finger you can use your I'll show you now from this angle instead of this movement now they're the three notes I was playing just I'll try and get a better view it's hard but I'm, I'm going like this but you see this last finger if I if you push that digit of your last finger down the first finger here it'll play the both the bottom string and the second last string as a like a mini bar and that might be easier for beginners to play with when you're playing an F just to so you're only you're you're only essentially you're only playing the four bottom notes you're playing the four bottom strings sorry so that's your F the other way of playing an F if you don't want to do the whole full bar is by just playing it like a power chord which is just first finger would be on the F the lower F third finger on the C there and then that's another F now that doesn't define major or minor but by just putting them down in the beginning and you can play any chord like that you can play a G like that you can play an A B C D and back to E again so I hope that's of help to you that F there or else the one I showed you with or you could just use the little finger instead of the third finger for the first note and put the third finger in on the C to give an F a, a kind of a C bass but it, it just means you you don't hit the top note then because you get an E going with the C which would clash you know so other than that the F um, you've got your B chords now that's that was your F major your F minor now with your F minor you don't put it you don't put the number two finger down you just bar all three of them on the first fret you see just all three of them there and then you just play that note there with it now the full bar would be okay like that very hard to get used to at the start but maybe just try it with the get used to doing half bars first and then or even your power chord that power chord kind of shape then co comes into the other chords that we didn't talk about which is the B chords now that can be a way of playing B the power chord way okay now the full B can be played one of two places you can play it like a like you played your F chord up on to the uh, seventh fret which gives you a more bassy kind of B that's your B major now this is like an A major as well this other way if you imagine when remember I was telling you you can play leaving this finger free you can play your F by moving E up one 
So you're moving all these fingers up one and barring there. That gives you your F. Similarly, when you're playing B, it's like playing A. Now you know A. But instead of going one, two, three, use two, three, and four to hold down the notes and leave your fi uh, first finger free. You'll get the idea now where I'm going with this. Now B, unlike F, you're not going up one fret this time, you're going up two frets. So you bring up to there, and then the B goes down there. You might find this one a bit tricky as well. So a full bar, or if you want to do it like an F shape, there. So there's just some examples of how you can play B. And then of course B minor is like your F shape here, only you're bringing that onto the next strings down. So you're going. Like that. Or like your F minor. Very evil kind of change. Uh, now, so I hope that's of some help to you. Obviously, you can also do that B. Uh, if we're leaving the top two strings out, so you could go two, three, four on the fourth fret, and your one just sitting in on the second on the F sharp. That would be your B major there, just using the bottom four strings, or. minor. Now your minor would be 3, 4, and then your 2 would go on the D, and then 1 on the F sharp. So that's another way of playing B minor, and B major just be major, minor. Another way of doing it, then we'll just go major, minor, and then we'll go this way. Uh, Major minor. So that's the various ways you can play B as well. What I also see sometimes people doing is playing a B, like playing a B7. Now that chord is probably handier for some people to play than a B. That's just two on the A string. One goes on to the D string on the first fret. Then the tree goes on to the second fret on the G string, and the little finger will just sit in then on your F sharp. So that's another way of playing B that I see people playing at the start if they're if you're uncomfortable playing them bar chords. But then, of course, like the last video, I would recommend that you change as much as you can using the bar chords. So, for example, I'm going to pick F. B minor, A and C. They might not even sound good, but it doesn't really matter. It just pick random. So uh, F, B minor, A and C. So try that with your metronome then. So just like like the last time, every four started with every four. So it'd be. A, C there, but yeah, you get the, the point anyway. I said C, A the first time, didn't I? So <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it to C, A the last two chords. So F major Do this in random patterns with the bar chords that you now learned 
with other cards that you've learned from the last video and just pick them out in random fashion and if you mix these up and get used to playing them alongside you can do them every one then so you could go I'm gonna play every chord every one now so I'll start with A So the other two chords I didn't really, I left out there were G minor, which is, this can also be played like a, barring the tree there, um, like that, or you can play it like a power chord. And C minor is just, like your B minor only up a fret so that's all the chords covered now and get used to changing them around as much as you can and uh, any feedback would be lovely to hear uh, if you have any problems or anything like that just ask me or go onto my Facebook page Philip Mahoney Guitar or onto my YouTube channel just ask me there okay thanks bye